at Highland Hill Farm, we barter for all kinds of items, whether it be PVC fittings or tires or fencing or bicycles or car parts. We will try and barter for what we need by using our trees and shrubs. And here's how we do it. When we want something, we create a YouTube video. And that video describes what we want to acquire through a barter. We then create a web page for the item that we want and we embed the video from YouTube on that web page. Once we have our web page made and the embedded video on the web page created, we're now ready to start advertising on Craigslist. Craigslist is widely viewed and affords us a great opportunity to advertise our trees and shrubs in trade for the items that we need. We seem to never run out of items that we want, and we seem to never run out of trees because we keep growing more. So it's a great way for us to market our trees and find new customers for our tree farm. To give you an example, last year we were advertising a barter trade for people to come and hunt groundhogs on our property. They had to bring us a locust cedar or pressure treated fence post, and then they could hunt for the day. Well, we had a gentleman come down and he hunted a few times. He shot a few groundhogs and he was a real happy camper and went home with his groundhogs. But this year he came back and he just bought 15 of our Norway spruces. And we will be delivering and planting them in the next few days. So, though we advertised for a groundhog hunt, we ended up selling 15 trees to one person. Not bad for a barter. This is Highland Hill Farm in Fountainville, PA. We grow trees and shrubs. And one thing we're not afraid of losing is our business model. And this is a post that's part of our business model. As strange as this may sound, we let people come and hunt here. All we ask is they bring us a locust cedar or pressure treated fence post, a 12 foot post, and then they can hunt for the day. The reason we do that is we want to protect our trees and shrubs from marauding deer. So we're building a deer fence on a bunch of different farms that we own and people come and bring us a post and then they hunt for the day. Now if they can't bring us a post, we usually find something else like some, some hose that we could use or maybe a hose reel like a used hose caddy or something like that. But generally speaking, we let people hunt for the day and if they get a deer, they get three free days. If you get two deer in any part of the season, you can hunt the rest of the season for free and you get 25 worthless US dollars. Now who would want to steal that business model? Well, we also have other things that we do here at Highland Hill Farm. We own a number of properties out west where we let our customers go looking for Indian artifacts, dinosaur bones, and fossils. We also have places for people to come and go bird watching. And we also allow people to go hiking on our properties.